Hey, what's up, guys? This your boy FCG Heem. Welcome to my day off. I'm a recording artist from Bright County, Florida. You know, shallow side. Oh, on the neighborhood port, man. Feel me? So I pretty much got into music like as a kid. Like my dad used to have like a karaoke machine for us and stuff like that. And I used to just be messing around with it like early as a kid. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, Jamaican influence in my music because like, feel me? That's all I used to listen to growing up. Like that's all my parents used to plan stuff like that for me. I feel like Broward has like all the like uh, influence on my songs and my music because like I'm really like a product of my environment. So I'm really like just rapping about Broward for real. Yeah, so pretty much a lot of my songs is really me just like telling stories about like what I've been through, what I've seen, what I feel me, like everything. So you know, pretty much on the neighborhood poet. So like everything I'm saying is neighborhood poetry. It's a lot of people that influenced me to rap, but one person I can say is uh, Kodak Black, you know? Just seeing him blow up from like where I'm from, Broad County, you feel me? Watching him like, you feel me? Just shine, had a light shine on the, on the crib, you feel me? That's like everything. That was like really motivation for me, for real. Taking days off are important because you need to like relax your mind sometimes and like, open your brain up, see more things, you feel me? What I saw in Heem was consistency and authenticity, two things that I think are hard to come by these days. It's important to keep friends and family around. I think it makes things more comfortable, it leads to more creativity, and uh, it's good to have people you trust in your corner who can grow with you. <laughs> When I'm not making music, I like to uh, go buy sneakers, you feel me? I just gave my uncle these, bro. These guys. My dad, he been like dressing up and stuff. I used to look up to him on the dress up, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Really like that Jamaican background, like, those dudes real flashy, like they like putting stuff on, so feel me? I've been trying to put it on since I was a kid, for real. <laughs> when shopping for shoes, you know, I just look for like something fly, something dope, you know what I'm saying? Something that not too many people have. I might grab these. I might grab them. <laughs> right now, these the, uh, do the right thing, threes, you know? These came out in what, 07? Not too many people, you might not never see these again. And another thing I like to do if I'm not buying sneakers is play basketball. That's one of my hobbies right there, man, you know? Why? I'm nice on that court, you know? I, you feel me? I, uh, you feel me? <laughs> come right, come right on here. Oh! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I always liked basketball since I was like a kid. Yeah, it just relaxes me, like, you know. If you feeling, if you feeling down, you could go out there and bust somebody's rumper. You feel me? <laughs> Who do you think out of your group of friends is the best basketball player? Me. <laughs> out of all these dudes right here, I'm the best. That's right. My favorite basketball team is actually the Chicago Bulls. But oh, we stink right now. I just used to like Michael Jordan. But my favorite player is actually Derrick Rose. 
youngest MVP major, Hall of Famer for sure. Well, we met him as in going through like his Instagram. He had a song called Dead Weight. It was like one of the craziest things in the streets. And we just one day hit up Val and was like, he got what I need and we got what he needs. So we ended up sitting down and joined teams. I mean, team, he, he can do it all. He's versatile from the booth to the field to the court. Everything he do, he's versatile in. You guys hear the music, like, it's amazing. Like, when I listen to him, it really give me the chills, and I know he's the one, he's the chosen one, he's gifted, you know? Five years, I want to be like, I got to be the number one, one artist. I need me a couple plaques. I need me a platinum record. You know I mean? I need me a couple millions. In 10 years, I see him, he's an icon. You know, there's not too many artists out there that's icons, but him, most definitely, he's gonna be an icon, for sure. 10 years from now, my hope is he's doing whatever he wants to do, and music's just the best thing going under everything. And uh, I'm expecting for him to do a lot of different things that we don't even know about yet. Working with a lot of artists, I know it's important for them to relax. I feel like a lot of people forget that artists are people and they have their own personal lives to attend to. So to make the magic happen, some people got to take some days off. You know, I think for him, I really respect his work ethic and it's usually him coming to me with stuff that's already done and makes my job a lot easier. So when he can take some time off, play some basketball, go shopping, it's important to me too. And it's like really important to keep the people that's really close to me around because you know, they keep me grounded and like, you feel me? Keep me going, keep me motivated to like, you feel me, become bigger and bigger because you know, I really want to see everybody, all that shine. For real, so I got to keep them people around for real. Man, we're out.